Hi everyone, it's Miss Allen. Welcome to Adventures in Storytime. I'm here at the Billings Public Library Story Tower for this week's story time. This week is Fire Prevention Week, so we will be talking about fires and firefighters. So let's get started. Are you ready to sing our song? Okay, here we go. Two little hands go clap, clap, clap. Two little feet go tap, tap, tap. Two little fists go thump, thump, thump. And two little feet go jump, jump, jump. One little child turns round and round. And one little child sits quietly down. Alrighty, so because we're talking about fire prevention and fires, excuse me, <coughs> we are going to talk about the letter F. F. Fire and firefighters, fast, funny, all of those start with the letter F. So this is a capital letter, letter F, and it is colored fuchsia. Can you say that? Fuchsia, and fuchsia is a mix kind of like between pink, little purple, some red. So there is our fuchsia F for firefighter, fire truck, fun, fast, fish, all kinds of words that start with F. So we'll be talking about the letter F this week. Here is our first story about firefighters. This one is called Firefighter and it is by Amanda Askew and Andrew Prosman. There's a series of these books in the library called People Who Help Us and we're going to read about firefighters. There he is in his fire um, suit and he has his fire truck behind him. Meet Jack. He is a firefighter. He helps to make places safe from fires. He also puts out fires. Jack arrives at the fire station and he changes into his uniform. At the fire station, Jack wears a blue uniform. When there's a fire alarm, Jack puts on a fire suit, a helmet, and heavy black boots. His uniform lets people know that he is a firefighter. Joe, the watch manager, checks that all six firefighters are there. Should we count? One, two, three, four, five, six. First, Jack and the other firefighters have to make sure that everything is working properly when the alarm bells go off. Everyone's here, let's start checking and cleaning the truck, Joe says. Later that morning, Jack fits a new smoke alarm for Mrs. Patel. He shows her how to use it properly. There it is. Remember we talked about we have one in here too. You need to check that it works once a month by pressing this red button. You must also change the batteries twice a year, says Jack. Okay, says Mrs. Patel. So remember, when there's a fire in a building, you'll hear a fire alarm. That's what he's checking to make sure that her fire alarm at her house is working. Jack goes back to the station for lunch. Just as he finishes his sandwich, ring, ring, ring. It's the fire alarm. Jack and the other firefighters put on their helmets and rush to the fire truck. It's the fire at Dover Street School. There's a fire in the kitchen, Joe shouts. Jack drives and, par and puts on the siren so the other cars on the road will move out of the way. When they arrive at the school, the children are standing quietly in the playground. There is smoke coming from the building. Carl talks to the teacher to find out what happened. Is anyone trapped in the building, he asks. No, all 75 children are out, she says. Jack, Peter, and Lucas put on their air masks so they can breathe properly. They crash through the kitchen door. They can barely see because the smoke is black and thick. Look, it's coming from the ovens. 
They spray water onto the flames until at last the fire is out. Did you hear that other F word? Flames. See, there they are. There's the flames. Outside, Jack and Lucas put the hoses away. Peter and Max look to see what started the fire. They also check that the building is safe before anyone can go back inside. They probably can't go in the kitchen, though. Thank you for coming so quickly, the teacher said. Not a problem, said Jack. Jack feels a tap on his arm. Please, sir, can we climb on your fire truck? Jack laughs. Not today, maybe another time. Have you had a chance to visit a fire station before? They'll give tours. I don't know if this year they're probably not gonna give tours, but normally they give tours where you can go in and see the fire station, check out the fire uniform, maybe hear the fire alarm. Some of our fire stations even have a pole that the firefighters slide down from the second floor. And sometimes they'll let you touch it. You can't really slide down it, you're too little, but they will let you touch it. So, talking about firemen and fire trucks, I thought we should sing that song that we learned last year called Hurry, Hurry, Drive the Fire Truck. You ready to drive a fire truck? Okay, so you got to have your hands on the steering wheel, and then we're going to turn, and then we're going to have to put the ladder up. So use the ladder. There you go. And then we're going to have to spray with the hose, and then we're driving the fire truck again, okay? So we'll do it once together, and then I'll put the words up. Here we go. Hurry, hurry, drive the fire truck. Hurry, hurry, drive the fire truck. Hurry, hurry, drive the fire truck. Ding, 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 ding. Are you ready to turn the, turn the corner? Hurry, hurry, turn the corner. Hurry, hurry, turn the corner. Hurry, hurry, turn the corner. Ding, 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 ding. Okay, we're putting the ladder up. Hurry, hurry, put the ladder up. Hurry, hurry, put the ladder up. Hurry, hurry, put the ladder up. Ding, 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 ding. Now you're gonna spray your fire hose. Hurry, hurry, spray the fire hose. Hurry, hurry, spray the fire hose. Hurry, hurry, spray the fire hose. Ding, 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 ding. Alrighty, now we're gonna drive the truck back to the station. Hurry, hurry, drive the fire truck. Hurry, hurry, drive the fire truck. Hurry, hurry, drive the fire truck. Ding, 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 ding. Good job. Do you want to try that one with the words? You do? Okay, here they come. Here are the words. Alrighty, got your steering wheel ready? Hurry, hurry, drive the fire truck. Hurry, hurry, drive the fire truck. Hurry, hurry, drive the fire truck. Ding, 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 ding. Turn in the corner. Hurry, hurry, turn the corner. Hurry, hurry, turn the corner. Hurry, hurry, turn the corner. Ding, 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 ding. Put your ladder up. Hurry, hurry, put the ladder up. Hurry, hurry, put the ladder up. Hurry, hurry, put the ladder up. Ding, 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 ding. Alrighty, spray the fire hose. Hurry, hurry, spray the fire hose. Hurry, hurry, spray the fire hose. Hurry, hurry, spray the fire hose. Ding, 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 ding. Last one, we're driving the truck back. Hurry, hurry, drive the fire truck. Hurry, hurry, drive the fire truck. Hurry, hurry, drive the fire truck. Ding, 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 ding. Did you drive back to the fire station after you fought the fire? Good job. Alrighty, so our next fireman story is Firefighter Piggy Wiggy. This is by Christian and Diane Fox. Does he have all the stuff he needs? He has his uniform and his boots and his helmet. He even has his ladder like we sang in the song. Whenever I see a fire engine racing by, I dream of all the things I would do if I were a fearless firefighter. 
fearless. What a great F word. Fearless, that means to not have any fear, to not be scared, to jump in and do stuff. <gasps> Ring! There he is sliding down the pole. I would wear a big yellow hat and slide down a shiny pole on my way to an emergency and ride around in a big red fire engine with flashing lights and a screaming siren. Can you make sirens out? Wee-oo, 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 wee-oo. Maybe I could climb a tall ladder to rescue someone stuck in a very high place. He's stuck way up there, can you see it? It's his teddy bear. Or save, one, save someone stuck down in a deep, dark hole. There's his teddy bear. I could even cool everyone down on a hot, sunny day. I've seen the firemen do that near the fire station by my house. They like to spray all the kids. And put out blazing fires with my powerful water hose. Is he doing a good job getting out that fire? But it's always good to know that in a real emergency, I can call a real life fire, fearless firefighter who will come racing to the rescue. Do you know the number that you're supposed to call if you have a fire emergency or any emergency where you need help? Do you know that number? Who knows that number? Alrighty, let's talk about that. We will dial 911 if we have any emergency. Say there's a fire or mommy and daddy are sick and you can't get them to wake up or somebody falls and hurts themselves. Someone's trying to get in your house who shouldn't be. You can dial 911 and they will come help you. Should you dial 911 if you cut your finger? Well, maybe, but who should you talk to first? Your mom or your dad, your grown up, right? Should you call 911 if your pizza doesn't get delivered? No. 911 is for emergencies. Remember that? Important things, scary, important things like firefighting. So, we should talk about. The other song that we love to sing during this time of year, do you guys remember it? It's called Stop, Dop, and Roll. So this is the song we sing that helps us remember what to do if we are in a fire and maybe the fire gets on us. So we're gonna sing that song and then we'll do a little hurry, hurry fire truck, okay? Are you ready? So our song is Stop, Drop, and Roll. Do you remember? Stop, then you drop to the floor, and you roll. So if you're at home and you have the space, you could do this standing up and you could put your hands out for stop. You could fall to the floor for drown, a drop and you can roll your body, okay? Just make sure that you're not in anybody's way if you do, do decide to do that, okay? And I'll give you a little chance, are you ready? Okay, a child whose clothes have caught on fire, caught on fire, caught on fire a child whose clothes have caught on fire should stop drop and roll stop and drop and roll and roll roll and roll roll and roll stop drop and roll and roll stop drop and roll you remember that that's an important song to remember that will help you if anything goes wrong but now let's sing hurry hurry drive the fire truck okay here we go here are the words for that one I want you to be practicing driving your steering wheel hurry hurry drive the fire truck hurry hurry drive the fire truck hurry hurry drive the fire truck ding 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 Hurry, hurry, turn the corner. Hurry, hurry, turn the corner. Hurry, hurry, turn the corner. Ding, 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 ding. Hurry, hurry, put the ladder up. Hurry, hurry, put the ladder up. Hurry, hurry, put the ladder up. Ding, 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 ding. 
Hurry, hurry, spray the fire hose. Hurry, hurry, spray the fire hose. Hurry, hurry, spray the fire hose. Ding, 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 ding. Hurry, hurry, drive the fire truck. Hurry, hurry, drive the fire truck. Hurry, hurry, drive the fire truck. Ding, 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 ding. Alrighty, our last story. If I can get the book, here it is. Firefighter Duckies by Frank Dormer. Wee-oo, 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 wee-oo. With the sound of a fire alarm. Here are the firefighter duckies. They are brave. They are strong. They rescue gorillas and chef hats. Is his hat on fire from his cupcake? What are they using? A fire hose. Thanks, guys. They are the firefighter duckies. They are brave, they are strong, they rescue whales in trees. Looks like the whale's getting bitten by a tree, doesn't it? Silly. They are the firefighter duckies. Oh, thank you guys. They are brave, they are strong, they rescue dinosaurs on bicycles and rampaging centipedes and smushed up lemurs and the alphabet and hairy monsters. They are the firefighter duckies. They are brave. They are strong. They are giving haircuts. Is that how they're helping the monsters? They are helpful. What? They help the rampaging centipedes calm down by giving them something to eat. They are kind. Did they untangle the lemurs? And they got the alphabet right all, all straightened out. They are the firefighter duckies. They are brave. They are strong. They are helpful. They are kind. They are tired. Thank you. And then there's eating cupcakes. The whales and cupcakes. So our firefighters are brave and strong and kind. And they work hard to keep us safe. So let's do our stop, stop, and roll one more time. And then I want to talk to you about next week's story time. And a special thing that's happening at when I'm done. So ready? Let's do stop, drop, and roll. Here are the words. A child whose clothes have caught on fire, caught on fire, caught on fire. A child whose clothes have caught on fire should stop, drop, and roll. Stop and drop and roll and roll, roll and roll, roll and roll. Stop and drop and roll and roll, stop, drop and roll. Good job. So this week's letter was F. We talked about fires and fun, fast, flashing, fantastic, all kinds of great words that start with F. Next week we will be talking about owls. I wonder what letter we could talk about with owls. Found to be pretty good. Now, normally after our last song, Miss Allen does a flannel board, but I thought that it would be a lot of fun for you get to, for you to get to see a video that we had done for us last spring. 
during COVID and many, some, many, maybe some of you didn't get to see it or would love to see it again. So some of the Billings firefighters, our own firefighters drove their truck to the Billings Public Library. They climbed up on that big ladder and they got to the top of the library. And then when they were up there at the top of the library and their ladder, they read us a story. So when we're done and we say our goodbye song, there's gonna be a story from the Billings firefighters. And then Miss Molly will come on with your craft, which you're going to love. You guys are gonna look like we firefighters when we're done. So I hope that you have a great week and you join me next week for Owls. Remember that you can pick up your craft supplies at your friendly Billings Public Library, either at our children's desk or via curbside. Don't hesitate to give us an email or a phone call if you have any questions. I'm glad that you could join me today and let's sing our goodbye song so you can watch the firefighters. Are you ready? On my face I have a nose. On my feet I have ten toes. I have two eyes that I can blink. And here's my head so I can think. I have a chin and very near. I have two ears so I can hear. I have two arms I reach up high. And with my hands I wave goodbye. Enjoy the firefighters. See you next week. Hey there Billings, how's it going today? We know you're still cooped up inside, so we wanted to team with the Billings Public Library here. We got a couple books, and we're gonna go up in the bucket and read those books to you. We got Big Frank's fire truck, and even firefighters go to the potty. We know it's been tough, and we know you're doing your part to stay at home, so keep up the good work, and maybe the kiddos can have a little story time with a firefighter today. Hey, we took the ladder up, we're downtown. We got the uh, beautiful backdrop here. We're gonna read Big Frank's fire truck to you. Uh, this is a book my son likes. He's five and it's one of his favorite books for me to read to him so I hope you guys enjoy it too. Big Frank's Fire Truck by Leslie McGuire illustrated by Joe Mathau. Big Frank's Fire Truck. It's nine o'clock on Monday morning. Big Frank is just getting to work. Big Frank is a firefighter. He works a 24-hour shift. That means he will be on duty all day and all night. This is the firehouse. This is where Big Frank lives, sleeps, and eats while he's at work. Big Frank checks in and goes over his schedule. At 11 o'clock, he will have a fire inspection at the supermarket. At two o'clock, he will visit the elementary school and talk about fire safety. Big Frank has to be prepared for all kinds of emergencies too. Who knows what will happen during his shift? The fire chief asked Big Frank to fuel up the fire trucks. Big Frank heads for the garage. Big Frank's company has three fire trucks. The hook and ladder is used for aerial rescues. The brush breaker has four wheel drive and can go where there are no roads. Big Frank drives the pumper engine. The pumper holds water, a thousand gallons. After he takes care of the engines, Big Frank checks his gear. He wears a helmet to protect his head, a fireproof coat and pants to protect his body, and sturdy boots to protect his feet. 
He has a wooden wedge for propping open doors and his oxygen pack and mask in case fires are very smoky. Big Frank hangs his equipment next to the pumper engine and now is ready for anything. Big Frank sits down with his partner Mike for a cup of coffee. One of our fire safety lessons we want to learn is how to call for help. Our phone number is 911. Uh, we call 911 in case there's an emergency. For example, you see smoke or you see a fire or somebody's injured and needs help. Just then, the fire bell rings. At the same time, the light in the fire station starts flashing and the computer starts printing. Accident at intersection of Main Street and Laurel Road. Car on fire. Mike, Janet, and Gary jump into the pumper with Big Frank. Big Frank turns on the siren and he heads out of the station. Woo! The fire truck roars down Main Street with the siren going full blast. Cars pull over when they hear the noise and a policeman waves the big engine right through the red light. The firefighters arrived at the scene of the accident in less than four minutes. The first thing Big Frank does is check to see if anyone is hurt. He is glad he has his paramedic training. One lady has a bad cut on her head. Big, Fr big Frank bandages the cut and Mike radios for an ambulance. <clears throat> Meanwhile, Gary and Janet spray the burning car with a special foam made for gasoline fires. The flames go out and a tow truck comes to haul the wrecked car away. Big Frank returns to the station with the others and fills out his report. He looks at his watch. It's nearly 11 o'clock. He drives over to the quick stop to make his inspection. Big Frank inspects the store's sprinkler system to make sure it is working properly. He checks the emergency doors to see if they will open in case of a fire. He also runs a test of the alarm system. The supermarket has a smoke alarm that rings right in the fire station. Everything looks okay. Back at the firehouse, Big Frank eats lunch with the other firefighters. Then he takes a short nap in his bunk. At 2 o'clock, Big Frank and Mike drive the pumper engine over to Niceview Elementary School. Big Frank and Mike talk to the second grade class about fire safety. Mike tells them that the smoke detectors are very important. Another fire safety lesson that we want to learn is checking our smoke alarms. We check smoke alarms every month, so every 30 days we want to be pushing the button. And when you look at your smoke alarm, there will be a button that says push here to test. When you hold it, it's going to beep three times, and then it's going to pause, and then it's going to beep three more times. For example, I hold this for two to three seconds, and then it'll beep. When you hear that sound, we want you to get out and stay out. So you hear the smoke alarm, you want to stop what you're doing, get up, walk outside, and stay outside until an adult or a fireman says that it's safe to come back inside. He shows them how to check their smoke detectors at home. Big Frank teaches the class what to do in case of a house fire. He tells them to stay low so they won't breathe in too much smoke. Then he shows them how to stop, drop, and roll. Another lesson that goes along with our smoke alarms and testing our smoke alarms is an escape plan. We want to practice our escape plans so when we do hear a smoke alarms and we're supposed to get outside and stay outside, we'll know what to do. So your emergency escape plan can be found at nfpa.org forward slash fact sheets. Along with our escape plan, we want to practice where are we going to meet once we get outside. We can meet at a neighbor's house, or at a tree outside, or at the car, even a mailbox. If you're looking online for help with fire safety, you can also visit sparkyschoolhouse.org. There they have lesson plans from kindergarten all the way through grade 5 that can help you. You have printable activities, you have online activities, and there are even apps that you can download onto your devices. On the way back to the fire station, a call comes over the radio. Brush fire at Dairy Hill. Big Frank turns the pumper around and heads for Dairy Hill. He and Mike will meet the rest of the company there. Big Frank is worried there hasn't been any rain for a long time and the wind is blowing. This could be a bad fire. 
Big Frank and Mike reach the fire a little after 4 o'clock. They go right to work. They spray water around the edges of the blaze to keep it from spreading. The wind blows and sparks fly through the air. When the rest of the company arrives, the fire chief tells Janet and Gary to hose down the roofs of the nearby houses. That will help keep the sparks from setting the house on fire. At nightfall, the wind picks up speed. Suddenly, the fire goes out of control and races towards the forest. The fire is too big for one company to handle alone. Big Frank radios for help. Two more companies are on their way. Big Frank knows all the firefighters in the other companies. He has worked with them many times, and together they make a good team. By midnight, they have saved the nearby houses from catching fire. They have headed off the blaze to the north, south, and east, but the fire is still spreading west through the trees. Even the brush breakers can't keep up. Big Frank calls in a squad of special firefighting helicopters, and soon they are whirring overhead. The firefighters battle the blaze from the ground, and the helicopters drop chemicals from the air. Finally, after 14 hours, the fire begins to die out, and the worst is over. Big Frank is tired. No wonder it is nearly 6 o'clock in the morning. As soon as the next shift of firefighters arrive, Big Frank and his company head back to the firehouse. Back at the station, Big Frank helps wash down the trucks, and they are sooty from the fire. Big Frank is dirty, too. He has ashes all over him, even in his hair. Big Frank jumps in the shower, then he puts on a clean pair of clothes, and he eats his breakfast. It's 9 o'clock on Tuesday morning. Big Frank's shift is over. Big Frank waves goodbye to the other firefighters. He can't wait to go home. He can't wait to hug Amber and little Frank. Big Frank will have two days off to spend with his family. Then he'll start another shift, fighting fires and helping everyone's family stay safe and sound. Good morning, my name is Tyrone Morgan. I'm a deputy fire marshal for the city of Billings. And today we are reading, Even Firefighters Go to the Potty. It is by Wendy Wax and Naomi Wax. So let's get started. Clang, clang, clang. The fire alarm is ringing. The fire truck needs to go. But where did the firefighter who drives the truck go? To the potty. Even firefighters go to the potty. Jonah and Jamie are at the police station. They brought in a lost kitten. Meow! But where did the policemen go? To the potty. Even the policemen go to the potty. It's opening day at the baseball stadium. Batter up, shouts the umpire. But the batter is nowhere in sight. Where did he go? To the potty. Even baseball players go to the potty. Bang, bang, bang. The construction workers are building a house. Time out, calls the foreman. Where is he going? To the potty. Even construction workers go to the potty. It's checkup time. The doctor's waiting room is filled with toys and books. Everyone sits and waits. Where did the doctor go? To the potty. Even doctors go to the potty. Flush. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The rocket ship is about to take off, but an astronaut is missing. Where could he have gone? To the potty. Even astronauts go to the potty. It's a busy day at the restaurant. The Sutton family is ready to order. But where did the waiter go? To the potty. Even waiters go to the potty. It's time for takeoff. Everyone is, Everyone is wearing their seat belts. But where did the pilot go? To the potty. Even pilots go to the potty. Toot toot! All aboard! Calls the conductor. We're ready to leave. But where is the engineer going? To the potty. Even train engineers go to the potty. Jack, Zach, and Zoe are at the zoo. They can't see the polar bear anywhere. Could he have gone to the potty? No, polar bears go outside, but zookeepers go to the potty.
to Adventures in Storytime. This week's theme is fire safety. So we're making a little firefighter helmet, um, like a little hat today, so that'll be fun. It's super easy. All you need is one of these, which you can get at the library, and then um, crayons, markers, or something to color with. All right, let's get started. So I'm going to color my helmet red, but you can color yours any color you want to. Firefighters have to wear a lot of gear to help keep them safe when they're protecting us or they're putting out fires. So you can call a firefighter when there's a fire or when you have a different kind of emergency like maybe you're hurt or someone in your family's hurt. You can call 911 just like you would if there were a fire and they'll come help you. Um, firefighters are here to help protect us and keep us safe and um, take care of us when we're hurt or help us in an, an emergency like a fire or a different kind of emergency. This might be a good spot for you to write your name. Um, I'm not gonna write my name. I think I'm just gonna color it to match the sides here, but um, this seems like it has enough space and it would be a really good spot for you to write your name if you wanted to do that. Okay, so I'm all done with my helmet. The next thing we can do is put it on. I'm gonna kind of measure my head though. First, let's see. All right. I made a little mark so I can remember where to put the tape. It's sticky. So you just have to pull off this so the tape is sticky. You can have a grown up help you with this if you need to. Okay, so that's where I'm gonna put this tape. I'm gonna put it just like right on top of my mark and then push it down a little bit to make sure that it sticks. Ta-da! All right, so that's what it should look like when you finish.